Hello, hey, welcome. Um, it's been a while since I've done this. Um, yeah, just back with some new fun things that I can show you guys for, uh, you know, in Microsoft Sentinel. Yeah, it's called Microsoft Sentinel now. Um, you know, uh, I don't know why Microsoft are ever just changing their names. Um, and just that's just something that you got to get used to as far as they're concerned. Um, but yeah, let me quickly show you guys, you know, a little bit about... Um, you know, functions, you know, Sentinel functions as your functions. So it's basically something that you can pre-program. You can write the code out and you can set it to serve, you know, as a set that, you know, you can automatically deploy just like that, with, you know, uh, in a couple of seconds. You can, whether you're building lists um, or links, URLs or a database, different functions or an equation, you know, or just, you know, a simple, just uh, a... Um, how should I say, simple code, whether it's KQL, JSON, or anything, you could load that into, you know, Sentinel as a, you know, a, as a function. Even if you're passing data, it's actually perfect for passing data. You know, if you've got like a whole lot of data coming through and you just want to get it into different columns and you want to pass it into different columns and, well, and you know, you need a way to organize them all into one particular space without you having to do anything then, of course, you know, loading it and saving it as a function would be perfect. So I'm going to give you a quick example. I'm going to load something very simple. Um, you know, we're just going to look at, you know, security events. Um, whoops, what happened to my typing? You know, and I'm just going to say where events ID, you know, um, contains, I'd rather say event ID, equals what four two six four you know and and well we can just say we account maybe is we can just say starts with what plug um and then we could simply just project um the account name and uh the event id um anything that you actually want here. This is the lovely part of this. So, you know, it can be anything in there. Um, let's just have a look and see. Now, this is probably not going to bring up anything because, you know, it doesn't like this third line. There's no data in there. Um, hold on a sec. Ah, that's the issue over there. All right, well... Uh, yeah, event ID data, you know, at least completes now. Now, if you want, you can build, it can be a very long query. It doesn't matter how long it is, you know, you could actually just, you know, pre-program that, you know, just like this. And the nice part is you could simply click on save, save as a function. We're going to call it event plug, you know, whatever you want it. You could put it in a category. We'll just call it the event category. The parameters over here, you don't really need to select them. You can, you know, if it's going a bit further in, whether you're going to select it as a string, boolean, or, you know, whatever it's going to be and just type the name. But it's not necessary. You can just click on save, um, give it a sec. Okay, cool. Let's just open up a new tab. And then we're going to call this, what? Recall, what did we save that as? Um, event plug. All right. Let's just try this again. Event plug. Hmm. Wonder why it's not there. Well, let's go and have a look, you know, under the function section over here. Event plug. So we can see, okay, cool. It's loaded there. You know, nothing over there, but you can see that it performed the um the the the, the string, the code over there, you know, the function without displaying it for you. You could even do this, you could even you know, right click and then, or well not right click, you hover over it and then say load the function code and there you go. So just think of all of the things you could do, you know, with this. You know, when, if you're doing let statements, you know, you could use this in conjunction with that to make life easier for you. So let's just try, you know, there we go, event plug, you know. Um, yeah, and we can even query that. So, that, well, you can't really query it because it's not a database, but yeah, it, it exists, you know, as a function. Cool. So what I've also got is, you know, just a watch list that I've loaded for demonstration purposes. 
but um, you can see over here that this is just something that I've loaded some IP addresses into. You know, if you wanted to save your function as something, you know, that just performs a search in this little database that you know that you've got going on over here in the the uh, you know, I'm just performing a search on this or whatever equation, you could do that, you know, and simply just save it again, save it as a function and name it. And then, you know, you could just simply, uh, you know, bring this up anytime, you know, uh, and then you could let it automatically perform the query. I'm basically just doing, you know, simple queries, um, you know, just for us to be able, just so that you can identify, you know, how easy this actually is, you know. Um, so let's just have a look quickly. I just want to load this function. Um, there we go. See, it performs the search automatically. Um, let's just try that again. IP test dev. Cool, cool. Now it's, it's in the order complete. Cool. Now was that simple. Now I'm just going to show you guys something a little bit more complicated, a bit more of a real world scenario. See, what we've got over here is, you know, logs that are being ingested from, you know, a Mimecast uh, platform. I believe that it's going into a log collector and that's being shoved through to Sentinel, uh, you know, in its own little data set. So what we've got is, you know, we've got quite a bit of information that comes through in a raw data format. So if you look closely, you can see that, you know, we've got, you know, the subjects, inbounds, we've got know message ID we've got a whole lot of stuff jumbled together in one column in raw data so the way that we make use of the function is like this all right so I'm gonna load the um, you know the function over here just so that you can see um, I'm just gonna do a take three on that how we've managed to clear that up um, this is what it looks like you know um, all in different columns over here um, you could see computer type, resource ID, plus many, many, many more. Let's just have a look at all of these columns that's available. And the way that we achieve that, right? Um, I'm going to go to the function section, and then I'm going to show you guys. Um, I'm just going to load that function quickly. Give it a sec. The way that that has been achieved, right, is by performing extensions to create the columns, and then using um what what is known as regex regular expressions to siphon out that data to you know to 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 shorten it uh, basically take the raw data and split it into columns you know this raw data over here was taken and it was split into different columns over here you can see the um the column being created and then of course using regular expressions to expect uh, to extract certain data you know from that particular column from the raw data and that of course leaves you with something like this. You know, there's quite a bit of information, but they've all been split into columns. So for something of this nature, you know, and I mean, we are always dealing with, you know, CEF, uh, common event format, where a lot of the time, you know, wherever you're ingesting your data from, if it's always coming through in different, from different areas, different types of firewalls, um, you know, and it's not necessarily in CEF, um, and, you know, then this would be an ideal manner in which you could use to split it into different columns. Um, that's one, that's just another way of performing a function. But surely if you are using Sentinel, you would automatically know um, how to approach a situation like this if you know how to use, um, you know, functions. Well, that's pretty much it for me. If you got any questions or if you need me to go or elaborate into some, anything else, please feel free to drop a comment below. Thanks. Peace.